What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the fastest way on how to read in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yep, that's right, in medieval times not everybody could actually read. And if you try picking up a book at the start of the game, you'll notice that all the words are completely jumbled up and pretty much incomprehensible. So you've actually got to learn to read in this game. But why would you care about learning to read in this game? Well, not only does this mean that you can then read skill books, but there are also some very good side quests and even the main quest, where if you can read, it will put you at a huge advantage in progressing. Otherwise, you can come to some dead end. So I recommend doing this. The fastest way to learn how to read is to start this quest straight after the prologue. You can do it. Ratai Mill is just here where we start off with the prologue. If you then come to Ratai Town Center, right in the middle where I'm just here, you'll see there's a church on the right and then we're gonna to want to head over here towards the apothecary. Let's head on inside. We need to talk to the apothecary, he's just here. Hello, sir. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm healthy again. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. And then there's a dialogue option here that says, who can teach me to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. There we go. We've started the quest mightier than the sword. Currently, you'll be in Retire, which is actually on the opposite side of the map to Ushitz which is in the northeast corner just over here. Now my recommendation would be to you guys if you're just starting the game and you've not got this far yet, just wait until the main quest takes you to Ushitz and then go and visit the scribe because by then you'll have a horse and until this kind of point in the main quest line, there's not really a point in learning how to read. But once you do reach Ushitz, you'll see the church is just over there and we'll find the scribe's house just here indicated by this little feather. So let's go on inside and ask him to teach us how to read. This will cost you 50 groschen, by the way, guys. Just so you know. Bloody hell, how is he reading in here? It's so dark. <laughs> here he is. God be with you. And now we can ask him, I'd like to learn how to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. We can get started. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces if indeed time is of the essence. So we're going to go ahead and give him that 50 groschen. Here are your groschen. Then we may as well start. No. He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Wow, actually, we've been at his house for two Wait days. Wait lad. It's time we were getting on. <sighs> So, let's see you read a bit. Okay, so we get to read the book. And the interesting thing is, guys, obviously There's you can't read. On the table. Try to read it. Okay. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. All right, then. Let's have a read of this book here. So as you guys can see, the book still looks like a book, but once you actually start reading it, it says one addy a countryman going a nest of goose found ear egg na egg yellow. Now if you guys are interested, I'm actually dyslexic and this is kind of what it looks like when I look at words. I do actually read a lot so it's not this bad, but when I mix up words and things in the sentence, it actually is a little bit similar to this. Anyway, we're going to go back now because we've read the book and we've got to speak to the scribe. I've read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? There was something about some fellow and a goose, 
I need to read it again. That being greedy doesn't pay, because that is the moral of the story we just read, and that will give us the biggest skill boost. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable, and the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. Okay, let's go and read some Latin. So if you guys actually look at the words here and memorize them, He's going to ask us a question, probably based on this text. So even take a picture on your phone if you want to be sure. Let's get up. I read the page. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? So as you guys can see, there are three speech options here. If you guys look carefully, you'll see some English words within the speech options. So for example, this one says, Dullis liver tam malus, a liquor party profit. There are some English words in there, so it can't be this one. This one says, liquor part drop it. So I assume that also is going to be wrong. This one, however, I don't understand any of it, and it's in completely in Latin, so this must be right. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus, uh, ut non uh, liquor parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. So there you go, we've reached a new level in reading. Oh, if we actually talk to the scribe though, just to quickly show you guys. You can trade with him, he does have a pretty good source of different books and even some skill books as well. So if you want to up your reading skill, it can be quite good to pick these up and just sit there and read them and your reading skill will gradually go up. And what happens is that basically the words actually make sense and become sentences on the page. It's a very interesting kind of thing how Warhol Studios did this, I think it's uh, to be commended indeed. <laughs> Also guys, just to quickly show you, if you guys want some free source of reading, not having to pay, just come into this back room here, close this door, very secretly, and you guys will see there's actually a very hard chest here. Give me a few minutes. Okay, there we go. So here we have a ton of books that you can steal and read. There's also 200 groschen here, so I'm going to take that. So I've already got a few skill books here to actually show you guys. So if we go to the other category and then scroll down, we will find the skill books. There are two skill books here. They both have the same name, but one is the third edition. Obviously it's more expensive and worth more gold. By the way, once you read these and learn the skills within them, you can actually just sell them. So pretty good valuable resource as well. A skill book on pickpocketing can only be read after achieving level 10. Unfortunately, I'm not level 10 yet but we can read this other skill book because that doesn't require level 10. Now you actually see there's a progress bar in the skill book as well. So let's click it and have a read. You'll see now instead of the flick from page to page option, there's a study option. So if I press A to study, you can actually wait and you'll make a certain amount of progress through the book. So if I say, let's read for two hours, if you guys look there, you actually see there's a progress bar. Currently it's on 0%, now it's on 15% though, so it will gradually go up. And over time, if you need to wait for something, just always bring a book with you or put it in your horse's saddlebag and constantly progress for it, and eventually you'll be leveling up your skills. 
So as you can see, I've leveled up in reading as well. <laughs> it's actually too dark to read right now, so I should probably stop reading. If you guys check out the link in the description below, I will leave a few secret locations you can go to find skill books hidden away in chests in the wilderness. And I'll also find some locations where you can buy them as well and leave them down below in the description. I highly recommend watching those videos as now you can read, it's a really fast way to level up your skills. And some of the high level skill books you can find are literally worth over 2000 groschen. So it's a really good way to make money after you've read them as well. And if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and press that little bell icon as well because then YouTube will notify you whenever I release a new Kingdom Come Deliverance guide for you guys to... But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.